Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to another video. I feel so weird introducing videos all the time. <laughs> I don't even feel like myself, like, hello, so magical, my beautiful friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about the easiest deities you can work with because I see a lot of people talking about working with deities and like like being upset that no deities have like made themselves present in their lives and I just want to say there are some deities who want to work with you and they're just waiting for you to like to say hey please work with me because they love you already and like they're just waiting around so <laughs> i will explain the easiest deities to work with are in fact angels so this video is about angels <laughs> and if you don't have a deity i can assure you that you're you have angels um who are hoping that you invite them into your life because angels just love working with people and helping people and the other deities I have worked with the most out of any um, deities and yeah so I just thought I would share because I think like angels are here for literally every single person on earth and I know a lot of people are like sad that they don't have a deity sometimes so you have a deity you just you just haven't connected with them yet so Yes, I have wrote some things down here, um, but firstly I just want to tell you guys some information from this book, which I am still only a little bit of the way through, but um, as I find out more information I will share it with you guys if you're interested, because like, I know angels seem like a very um, Christian thing, I'm wearing my pajamas, <laughs> and they seem very Christian, but they're actually... Um, they're actually just a spiritual light being and they are just always here no matter what you believe in so i definitely recommend working with them they've actually changed my life so much and they've helped me in so many ways and i'm like i love angels so much <laughs> they're like they're like so willing to work with you that if you ask them for a sign they will like basically always give it to you and the more you work with them the more they will give you signs and they're just like so present and so loving you can never do anything wrong you can never do anything to upset an angel or like get on an angel's bad side so i think they're definitely the easiest and safest deities to work with especially if you're a beginner to magic and stuff so you may know the saying as above so below so in our realm on earth we're currently going through a major shift in spirituality. So people are awakening, people are becoming more spiritual, people are, you know, reaching higher realms of existence. And that this is also help happening in the spiritual realm. So the angel realm and also in all spiritual realms, but for the angels, they are also having, having an awakening. They are having a spiritual upgrade too the great awakening is going to happen in our lifetimes it's actually already started happening um this is just a fact to me i know people like don't always believe in this stuff but it's just so it's just so ingrained into my belief system that it doesn't even seem out there to believe there has been a woman who has put people i don't remember her name i'm sorry i'm literally like so bad at remembering studies but if i can find it out i'll put it in the description but there's a woman who puts people under hypnosis and she asks them why are you here why did you incarnate on earth and the majority of them have said i am here for the great awakening i'm here to experience the great awakening i'm here to shift the world into a new reality so the world that we know below our world is shifting into a new reality and um, the angels are also experiencing this too so in our lifetime angels have been a lot more present in our lives than they ever have before so it's a great time to work with them and I just thought I would tell you guys that and I'll just let you guys know that if you want to work with angels they will 
be so willing and so up for working with you they just they just want you to believe like that's the one thing you kind of have to believe to see that's like people say seeing is believing but believing is seeing when you believe you will see the magic so let's get started on this so there's a load of different types of angels i will show you now these are the types of angels of angels <laughs> i hope i didn't know if you could hear me so these where are they these these are like the angels that commonly will work with people um they're just normal angels and then they, these are also archangels and they also will commonly work with people um on our plane of existence this is a throne this angel is um the the planetary angel so this angel looks after planets rather than humans so this is um it's very important to know of these angels because um we have an earth angel who looks over and watches over our mother earth so i just thought i would give you guys some information quickly on angels background information and also i wanted to let you guys know about lucifer being an angel so um just i'm just going to read this paragraph quickly so lucifer it is said in one tradition was one of the seven great archangels of our solar system serving as the guardian of the planet venus god asked for a volunteer from among his top angels who might be willing to go down to earth and help strengthen humanity's spiritual resolve by offering constant temptation lucifer volunteered despite his loving intentions slowly over the ages lucifer has become identified in our mind as the devil instead of an aspect of god dedicated to our growth by helping us strengthen our spiritual muscles the devil made me do it is a tempting excuse for just about anything and we've allowed this to blind us into depicting lucifer as the source of everything we consider evil in the world one of the heavenly tasks of lucifer whose name means light giver or light bearer is to teach us about the necessary dark side of life lucifer is the shadow that reveals the light by contrast in many ways we can't see the true light until we first experience darkness we tend not to value something until we lose it and then regain it through our own efforts this interdependence of light and dark of joy and sorrow of good and bad and all the other opposites in our dual system of reality yields to an understanding that within the larger context christ and lucifer while not exactly complementary to each other are at least on the same side integral parts of the same whole evil as the poet philosopher william blake wrote is only the deprivation of good and when the soul emerges from this illusion of evil lucifer resumes his original status as one of god's great archangels so it was something i wanted to add on to this is imagine like god as like a pure light heavenly being and we are all created in his image um i'm not telling you guys what to believe by the way this is just a theory and i love to read all kinds of theories and i'm not saying that i believe one specific theory so just thought i'd put that out there before i explain this so imagine god as a being of light he is or she is just pure light pure love pure kindness just good intentions and if god makes us as a as an image of themselves then all we are is god we are not we are not having other experiences we are just we are just one we are just one god being and we would never know any difference so something had to be created so that we could have the free will to have 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 i just said it with a th so something else had to be created so that we could have other experiences to to know our true selves to experience free will to experience other things so like like obviously if we were created in pure light 
we would have free will still but the thing is we would only want to do godlike things so we wouldn't be experiencing anything new does that make sense i don't know where i read this i don't even know if it's in the angel book um about lucifer yeah so i i just read something about free will and the purpose of having duality in order to give us free will but um I don't know where I read it, so I can't give you the exact quote, and I probably made not much sense when I explained that, but I hope some of you understood it anyway. So now I will tell you how you can connect with angels, because, you know, this is all about connecting with a deity if you haven't before, or if you are just looking for a deity to work with that won't expect anything of you and just wants to help to make the world a better place. You may not believe it, but your angels are always with you. If you need their help, you just have to ask. So you have to ask them. That's one thing you have to know. They will never affect your free will. So you have to invite them to help you because otherwise they will just sit back and let you do your thing. So if you want an angel's help, you have to say, angels, please be in my life and guide me. Please help me with this. Please help me be on the right path etc if you prefer you can see them as spirit guides or guardians but um you know they like they like you to know that they're angels <laughs> because you know it makes them happy and they will actually have like banter and stuff with you they they actually are really like lovely joyful beings and they're just so kind and so funny and they're not like all serious and uptight they're just like really sweet kind like beings and i really like I really enjoy angels like they're my favorite they they're just like one of my favorite beings I've worked with so the ways they will communicate with you and you can ask them for these signs for specific things so they use white feathers they are near okay so <laughs> I wrote this down um sorry so these are different ways they will communicate with you and what they mean so white feathers means they are nearby offering support you made the right decision a union is blessed clouds angel shaped clouds or other messages if you see an animal or a symbol in the clouds look up the meaning numbers look out for reoccurring numbers do you see the same number when you look at the time you can see them anywhere on public transport phone numbers the time, receipts, people saying them out loud. For me, 47 is a good number. And I had also been seeing 55 at the time I wrote this, which means positive changes. Um, and let go of the old to, to make room for the new. Double numbers is also a good sign, especially 1111. Wish every time you see 1111, okay? <laughs> you can also um, use numerology if you prefer to use that. So this is a book that I used to find out more about the signs that angels will give you. So I'm going to read from here, maybe. Um, okay, so musical signs are also a thing you can get. Um, the earth actually emit, emits a harmon harmonic tone into the universe. Wow, well, I messed up. This tone is our harmonic signature. So angels can like give you messages through music as well. So if you hear a specific song and it means something very deep to you or it answers a question you've been thinking about, it's probably a sign from an angel. But you can also like, you can also ask the angels, um, like if you're shuffling through music on iTunes or something, just say the next song I listen to, I want to have an answer to this question. And that's how you can ask them to communicate with you through music and also i want to add on to the feathers thing if you if you find a black feather it usually means an angel's protecting you a white feather is just a sign that they are around you a uh, gray and black feather means that things have been difficult but positive changes are coming there's a lot of different meanings for each feather so make sure to look up the meaning if you find a feather somewhere before my brother was going through a hard time and he said to the angels um please 
show me some white feathers if everything's gonna be okay we turned the path and there was like a bunch of white feathers everywhere like and it, the, it was the only place on the path where there were white feathers so like we were walking along this path for a long time and as soon as he said that a load of white feathers appeared so yeah you can ask for signs <laughs> they they will literally love to give you signs and also i find that if you if you see the word angel in a lot of places they're just trying to be like hi <laughs> i'm here hello <laughs> heavenly voices is also a sign you might hear a heavenly voice you may also hear music as well like angelic music which just means they're around they also like to show rainbows as a positive sign and also coins they use to communicate with you too so that is just a few ways of communicating with them and yeah i hope that helped you guys if you want more information on angels just let me know because i literally just i'm obsessed with angels <laughs> so I, I like i learn a lot about angels and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you will start connecting with your angels now because honestly like angels um <laughs> They want me to help other people connect with them too. So like I've helped people in my life communicate and like um, invite angels into their life. And they really are the best deities to work with because they they just want to help. They just, they never expect anything in return or like they just, they literally are just pure loving, kind beings. And they're cute and funny and you know, nice. And I love them and you know, they're just so positive so yeah i really love angels <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoy working with them too if you decide to work with them which i really hope you do because they will be happy if you do so yeah i love you guys i will see you in my next video bye